There we go. Now, this is a big surprise that I'm here. Let's see if anybody shows up. Um, nobody knew I was doing this uh, because I've been injured and have been flat on my back in bed rest for a while now. I have um, popped my hip partway out of joint and crunched two vertebrae in my spine. So I still can't quite sit up straight, but I'm going to try this and and see what happens. So uh, I'm Nancy from this overstuffed house. I have inherited three different inheritances from three different people who like to, shall we say, collect. One of them hoarded, but the others were borderline, like massive collection, but still livable house. <laughs> But now it's, you know, all with me and I've been selling it off slowly for a couple of years. And um, and I do live sales Wednesday nights. Usually right now, everything's been on hold because I had hurt myself and I am. Hi, Linda. And so I have been trying to figure out how to create content when I still can't walk without a walker. And since I got to my desk and we had talked in a live chat um, during my, one of my live sales about how some vintage stuff from the 80s has turned out to really be worth some surprising money. Um, things like stationery, old pencil books, um, or pencil cases, old pencils. So we were joking around about stickers and I said I had this big box and um, so I decided that, you know, that was something I could do if I could get into my kid's computer with his webcam, <laughs> that I could go through this box of stickers. So my son set me up so that, so that we could do this today. And, and I could see, cause you know, I haven't been in this box in, a, in quite a while. So I figured we could see together what's hiding in here. Ow. It's hard to shift in a chair to get comfortable. <laughs> it's a challenge. Look, this box is so old, a piece of it just fell off. <laughs> so, Deb, I, I am doing better because I'm sitting up in a chair, and that's a start. You know, yesterday I lasted about two hours. I'm supposed to try to sit up for about two hours, maybe three, depending on how the hip feels every day now, because after two physical therapy tries they finally got my hip back into place i still can't sit up straight because two of the vertebrae are still kind of shoved together but i am doing i'm definitely doing better now nobody nobody knew i was going live so nobody knows i'm i don't think too many people know i'm here <laughs> and uh maybe i should do this and Put it on Instagram somehow. How do I do this? Look at this. I don't even know how to work Instagram that well. <laughs> how do I do this? Camera settings. Camera settings are done. Okay. Look at this. I, you guys are, you guys are, <laughs> how, how well do any of you know Instagram? I'm so still learning on how to work this thing. I'm live on YouTube now. And it didn't type any of it. Okay, that'll work. And how do I make it post? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Instagram is, uh, it, it's, I, it's better than Facebook in a lot of ways. Because Instagram, you only literally, it's, it's more fine tuned than Facebook. And you can only put short little things usually. And um, 
and that's it. But I have not figured out. Put it on. Done. We did that. Oh, there we go. Post it to your story. I'm never quite sure how to actually post it. There's got to be a YouTube video. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not of the the baby boomer genera generation, but I'm the next one down, the the Gen X, and we don't really know how to work some of this technology either. <laughs> oh. So we have Linda's here from Michigan, and Deb is here. And uh, let's see what we can find in here. So um, because I've been stuck in bed, well, look, there's an Indiana postcard hiding in here, an unused one. Um, I had wanted to do this when we first talked about it, but I couldn't actually get over to the desk that had all this in it. So why don't I put the camera down and we can start seeing what's hiding in this in this pile of um, stickers and uh, and we'll talk. Hey, Jen Baker, how are you? I am. I'm out of bed and you can see the mess of my son's room around me, but I'm at his desk and I'm going to tilt you guys down so you guys can see the stickers. Now, how do I get you lower? I just put that on Instagram. You see picture of Philly Flipper there. I think that's as close as it's going to get. He has this all set up so that he and his buddies can play Magic the Gathering. So I'm, I'm pilfering his webcam. Now I have some. These are the kind that you just would wet the back. And these are all Doonesbury. There had been a book these were all out of. So I know like the Doonesbury books aren't so they aren't worth a huge amount they do have a following but i don't know that those would be worth anything i miss this company so much look at this one wit is educated insolence airmail with a pegasus and that i tried finding them again and they don't exist anymore now these are postcards i think and yeah, you have a page of stickers and then you have this and then you can mail it as a postcard. Now these are from Dover Publications. Now Dover Publications, you can still find, you can get catalogs mailed to you. Um, you can even get specific catalogs. So if you're just interested in craft stuff, you can get just the craft catalog or you can get just the stationary catalog or just the fiction book catalog. They have a ton of different things. Oh, what's this one? There's going to be a lot that are in these little envelopes because I really, really love this. Pen pals engage in mail bonding. The kind of humor that that one company had. Now that, that is just a piece of cardboard with a really cool fairy on it. What is her name? Susan? something hi annie christy surprise i'm live let's put that one over there now these are little hallmark fairies oh look what's here hello i'm sorry that you guys are kind of seeing this stuff upside down i have to turn it around for you i didn't know this was going to be in here so these are what they would call scraps at least this one is it's a tiny little piece and it would have been all stuck together and you could cut them all apart and they did them in the late Victorian period. Now this one has some writing on the back so this one was probably off of a postcard. These are really cool. I didn't look there's a whole is this a whole series of Hey, look, check this out. So you have winter. You almost, oh, you have two winter. I, I thought maybe you'd have a whole series there. You could do winter, spring, summer, fall, but I've got two winters. And these two. Oh, look, see, this has all the writing on the back. This would have been an advertising card or what they call a VT, VTC, um, Victorian trading card. 
And people would, they would trade these, they would cut them apart to put in their scrapbooks. I don't really see any glue marks on the back of that one. This one you can see where some of this has pulled away. So maybe these had been in an old scrapbook at some point and I picked them up. I used to do a lot with little things like this. I used to make my own note cards with rubber stamps and stickers and and um, these Victorian trading cards. I'm always looking for the Victorian trading cards that have fairies on them or that have stuff from the Gilbert and Sullivan operettas that have images from them. And there are some that actually have the name Ruddigore is spelled Ruddy, R-U-D-D-Y-G-O-R-E. And that was from the original production of uh, a Gilbert and Sullivan operetta before Gilbert and Sullivan respelled the name with an I. So let's see, there's, there's a lot. These are sticker sheets, different holidays. I don't see, now I know people do collect Hallmark and I think those are Hallmark. They, they still collect even open sticker packs. The most highly sought after ones are, um, well, there it says Hallmark, are sealed, still still unopened packs. Now, one of the things in the, in the pen pal world is they used to have things where you could trade. They'd have these little slips and it would have an address on it of who you could um, write to and swap things with. And that has a little initial on the back. So I probably got these as a, one of those trades. What I'm looking for are ones that might be specific illustrators. I should know this one. Does it say? Debbie Crabtree Lewis, Provo Craft. Okay, now that's probably from the 90s because it says archival. And in the 90s was when um, a lot of um, scrapbooking started, which is not the same thing as junk journal. Scrapbooking was just a glorified photo album. Ugh, what did this kid get on this desk? I'm all sticky. I am at my son's desk. The apparatus, Annie Christie, is his webcam, which I am pilfering <laughs> for the moment. Um, yeah, see, these full sheets were ones that I was going to trade. It's a lot. Look, 1994 Hallmark cards for the frogs. Oh, how cool. There's a groovy looking thing. So I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with all these full sheets. I mean, you can only use but so many holiday ones. Now we're getting into ones I know I bought. Look, but I was really into that, you know, Victorian stuff. <laughs> TFA and I am slowly getting better. They managed to get the hip back in place. So, um, Gibson greetings, but this sure looks an awful lot like Jimmy Neutron stuff. 1997. Fishing. That's an old one. Oh, there's some stationary hiding in here. Let's see what that is. Let me put, I can't tilt too far. So that explains what, oh, that's a, that's an empty envelope. That one's an empty envelope. That's a postcard, note card. Oh, this is cool. This is foil, another note card. Doesn't have any maker's names or anything on it. And you can see it's had some foxing. When you see these little brown dots, I'm trying to, like the, the lamp is getting, the webcam's getting in the way of the light. But these little dots are what they call foxing. And that's when um, mildew uh, dampness has gotten to stuff. Oh, these are thumbtacks. Okay, this is Marjolaine Bastin. Bastin. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She has been specifically doing things sold mostly directly through Hallmark for probably two decades now. At, well... She started doing stuff just for Hallmark in the 1990s. 
Um, so I know there are people who collect her artwork and I never, I never even open these. Do they have a year? Hallmark. I don't see a year on the back, but I may, I may look that up and see if that's worth putting on eBay because I don't actually need more push pins. Oh, now there's a, there's a cool set. Snoopy. I love me some Snoopy and Woodstock. That's a cool set. This one. Now, see, there's another. I must have been planning to do something because there's another piece of the cardboard. One of the cardboard fairies. So we'll put that over there. There's more of this. Now, the fairy ones aren't going to go anywhere. <laughs> and there's some more Doonesbury ones. From that but well, look see now here's the problem when you get old stickers the glue starts to give and you'll just find yourself with just a piece of wax paper i don't think we need to keep the wax paper put those over there who's here you have your ugh, this is driving me nuts this kid makes a mess of this desk give me a second i'm tired of sticking stupid soda ball. <laughs> I'm tired of sticking to his desk. <laughs> oh, you know, sometimes, you know, you'd think he was still a teenager. <laughs> but he's gotten something on the edge here and my elbow, my arm keeps sticking to it. It's getting on my nerves. There we go. Um, so where was I? You sort your stickers. Yeah, I never really sorted them. I just had this this box, which used to be an old candy box. And then as the as the sides started to go, I have this Betty Boop long sticker around the edge. <laughs> oh, of the pen pal one, the um this one. Oh, wait, what is, oh, there's one stuck to the back here. Cardassian High Command Communique. <laughs> Cardassian, that's Deep Space Nine, isn't it? Or the Cardassians in all the other. Let's see, where'd that one go? Oh, this came off of the envelope. Let me grab a pen. And... I got nothing to write on. Oh, I got something to write on. Hey, Paul. Billy Flipper. <laughs> Paul has a cool channel. Paul's, Paul's been able to get out and go sourcing. I can't do that right now. It's it's fun just getting me to physical therapy sitting kind of twisted in a car. So pen pal bonding sticker. All right. Oh, hello. What are you? Hmm. Huh. Little rubber stamp. I have to, I'm going to have to, at some point, find all these, because I have so many rubber stamps hiding in that desk. There's a Doonesbury. Solar Fugit, that's Doonesbury, Doonesbury, Doonesbury. I mean, I save stickers from everything, and of course, um, loved unicorns, loved fairies. There's a neat little fairy one. Um, now back in, this is 1993 from Expressions. Now in the eighties, you used to be able to go into stores and buy single stickers. Some of them quite large too, like eight by 10 large. And you, they would be on a roll and usually they'd be perforated. And this one, the perforations are there, but, uh, this one looks like it had been cut off the roll. And you could go in and you could just tear off how many you wanted, take it up to the counter and pay for it. 
And they would often, like this one is Hawaiian monk seal, endangered species. Well, it's got everything on the back about the monk seal. And it says 1993 expressions. And it just was so cool that you could find stuff like that. What is this? These are pictures, the Roaring Twenties. Now that's got glue on the back, but the other piece doesn't. I want, well, they're shiny. I don't know that that's glue. Unless they came, they might have been the thing that came off of stamps, like postage stamps. Starfleet Academy, all these kind of ones were that same company. So as I said, they were just, you know, all kinds. I love my, my unicorns and my fairies. I have a lot of stationery that was unicorns and fairies. Now this, apparently there was a lot of these butterflies. These were probably out of a book from Dover. And there's, there's a bunch of cats. This is a line that I never, I liked it, but I didn't realize where it came from. This is from Lord of the Rings. I think it's said to Frodo, but I can't remember if it's by Aragorn or by Gandalf. See, so I would, I would take sheets and I would cut them apart and I'd stick them in here. And um, then I could just, you know, find what ones I want. Here's more from that. I absolutely love this. Commit random acts of kindness and ceaseless beauty. Oh, there'll be Star Trek hiding in here, Evan Owen. Not much, but there will be. I can't believe my life is happening to me. Yeah, this should be my this should be my uh, idea for right now. <laughs> uh, of the Star Trek saying. Which one? This the Star Trek, the Star Trek Acad the Starfleet Academy, or that Kardashian one actually came off of? It was underneath another stamp. So, I I'm not sure how many I have of of some things. I have I have long said this. My life may be strange, but at least it's not boring. Um, that's another one that was from that same company, and this company, boy. I, I wish these guys were still around. Um, they were called, they were another one called Expressions. And you could get just these little sheets that were about this big. But all of their stickers were really good quality and they were foil. All of them were these prism foil backgrounds. Because that was the big heyday in the 80s started it of being for stickers. And now some of the ones that if they weren't from that company, if they weren't foil, they were vinyl. This is this is a vinyl sticker. Now, I, what I didn't find is I did not yet find more fairies. I have I have because um, I always drink tea. I'll, I'll have a lot of note cards that have teapots and stuff on them. And uh Look, brain cramp. Um, <laughs> what I didn't find was my um, my sticker scrapbooks. You know, they used to sell these books that had um, glossy pages for you to save your favorite stickers in, and you could. Oh, it's a Star Trek one. I could have sworn that was in Lord of the Rings too. That just go. I may have more of that one. I'll have to look it up. Um, but I couldn't. I didn't find my my books yet that showed. Oh, Pet Pride. I still get. I now this is the kind you actually used to have to wet the back. They now do regular stickers. Pet Pride is in. Pacific Palisades, California, and they are a cat rescue group. I don't know how I ever got on their mailing list. I still get mailings from them with a, with a wonderful thing of, of different cat stickers. 
So I send them a little more money, you know, all the time. Um, you know, at least once or twice a year, I, I never send much, but I'll send them 10 bucks now and then. Oh, you're right. Isn't that, isn't that Spock's dying line? I have been and always shall be your friend. That one, right? Okay. Can't tell you how long it's been since I've seen my Trek stuff. Oh, way too long. Sit that one up there. Oh, here's more of the um, endangered species ones with the information on the backs. Hi, Harry. Okay, I want to show you. I was hoping I'd find one of hers because um, somebody was talking about advertising cards on another YouTuber channel. And they were showing some of these old ones and they didn't really understand what they had. And they had one go past that had an illustration very much like this. If you find old, the, the old Victorian trade cards, the Victorian advertising cards that have illustrations that look like this with the, the empire or, or is it spelled empire uh, type clothing and the little bonnets. This is an illustration by Kate Greenaway. And she made a lot of money in the late 1800s by making artwork for Victorian trading cards, for children's books. And if you can find those trading cards, they are worth more because of who the illustrator was than they are just for whoever, you know, just for being a Victorian trading card. There's a couple of illustrators you want to watch out for for that. There's Walter Crane, but I don't have any stickers I know that were Walter Crane. That one you can tell. It's a little thing. HMK. <laughs> <coughs> HMK, Hallmark Cards. So, and we'll see now. I'm pretty sure there's an, another one came out of something from Dover. And I know these are Dover publications. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's some more of those fun. Anything not nailed down is a cat toy. Oh, now I, I don't, you'd have to be pretty hardcore British sci-fi to know this quote. It just occurred to me that as the description of a highly sophisticated technological achievement Avon's gadget works seems to lack a certain style. There used to be a show called Blake Seven. Look, very 80s. The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> uh, Blake Seven was a British sci-fi show that was really popular. And uh, they, they, they referred to it as calling, they referred to it as pulling a Blake Seven, which was when the BBC pulled a show saying they wanted to improve it and then they never brought it back and that's really what they felt they were doing with doctor who because they said the same thing in the 90s when they stopped making doctor who because basically one producer kind of ran it into the ground um they said they were going to make improvements and then bring it back and then it was what a decade more before they finally brought it back partly because the fandom just never let that one go my Alice in Wonderland. Though I'm not, I'm not huge on the Disney Alice. I do think the Cheshire Cat is a riot. Ah, now there's one of the ones I could tell from looking at it. This is a Mrs. Grossman's, isn't it? Yep, Mrs. Grossman's. And Mrs. Grossman's, you can still buy Mrs. Grossman's stickers today. Mrs. Grossman's stickers are <laughs> sought after. Oh, wow. Look how old that one is. It's, it's, well, that just came off. <laughs> um, but they are still, you can still find them, but there are discontinued patterns that are sought after and that people look for. How many of us really understand this one? The way some people find fault, you'd think think there was a reward. Yeah. 
Jan at Antiques from Karen. She's had somebody that really applies to being annoying with the comments. <laughs> so more of those, more swans. Go with courage and go with care. Yeah, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Oh, there's a fun one. Whenever I'm caught between two evils, I take the one I've never tried. I don't know if I have any Max Headroom. I love Max Headroom. I thought he was right. Um, who's here in the chats? Oh, I see Pat Doodles. And Chicago Lady. Hi. Because I don't... I'm. Pat, I've never missed an episode of um, Max Headroom, but I don't know that I had any stuff that was Max Headroom. That's the same. Oh, here's another. This is another Kate Greenaway illustration. That's a sticker. I'm pretty sure that that once upon a time, and I don't know if they still do, that this was from Dover Publications because they used to... That's another Hallmark from 1982. Zoo books. No idea, but, you know, it, it's a kitty. There are only 2,000 real people in the world, and the rest are bad special effects. I like that. <laughs> um, how many remember in the 70s all these things with cats? with little kittens. Remember the one hanging from the tree branch that says, just hang in there. This one says, take time out for dreaming. There must have been oh, 50 or 60 different varieties of something with a kitten. That, uh, oh, supporter of the Olympics. I love my Olympics. Not nailed down as a cat toy. We've seen that one. Oh, this one's a tiny little carousel horse. <laughs> I did not have those on my wall, but, you know, wouldn't be surprised. That looks like that just got peeled off of some. That looks like those stickers that all our teachers had. That was a little book and like, like about this big. And you would, you had, they were, they were, cut out but you had to like pull them out and then lick the backs of them like the teacher reward stickers <laughs> i don't believe in no win scenarios oh pansies and violets now i'm sure that picture is probably in my in my book whenever i can find it i love this one too prevent mind decay read books uh oh what did i do oh there we go i bumped the mouse <laughs> the reason some people get lost in thought is because it's unfamiliar territory. I'm not finding too many that that would I found that Mrs. Grossman. Oh look, there's there's more. There's more Mrs. Grossman. See, I used to make like little scenes and then have rubber stamps and I would make some of my own note cards and or use them within with decoupage stuff and but I have so much of that stuff that, you know, maybe need to winnow it out. Kathy? Well, Annie Christie knew who this one was. <laughs> 1982, Universal Press Syndicate. Because she used to be in the Sunday comics. And, and then there was, I think they actually tried a cartoon of her at one point. And, uh. But that, I don't know when, I I guess I got it in the 80s. This is cool. I don't remember, I didn't think I had any of these left. I don't even remember where it came from. But they were stickers, but you colored them in. You know, it's done with a regular paper, non-shiny on the front, so that you could color them in with pens or pencils. This one's in pencil. And then, you know, you, you just peeled off the back. Kathy Guyswhite reminds you of Dr. Lori. <laughs> well, there's the Blake 7 logo. 
if you can read this, thank a teacher. I get my young scouts, the 11 year olds, I nail them with this pretty anytime we're on a trip and it snows. Where does the white go when the snow melts? I can guarantee you out of out of those kids, there's always one that has to really stop and think about it and figure it out <laughs> because it just stops them dead going, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is one of the longer ones. I don't think you're going to be able to, to see it, to read it. In science, it doesn't matter if you're wrong as long as you're not stupid. In business, it doesn't matter if you're stupid so long as you're not wrong. Yep. And now, never too old for fantasy. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, another foil one. That's another Bastin one. I know these were from something from Dover Publications, and I kind of think these cameos might have been too. I don't know. One of these is bound to have a mark. I don't know. I think these might have been Hallmark. Oh, look, sure enough, look. Hallmark. Must have been big on cameos. There's also a lot of fairies there. Look at that, and then now see here's another one. It would have been so '80s. I think that one says 1982 as well. Oh no, 1983. I wonder if there is a market for those unicorn power. I was hoping I would find some loose Lisa Frank ones. This is R. A. Lang stickers. The artist is Susan Wingett. So that might be one to look up. Sierra Club. You know, you, you get stickers sometimes um, that were just in, in with the mail, you know, in the junk mail. My mom would always turn around and hand them to me. And the little heart one. That's also really, really 80s. There was a lot of stuff with hearts on it. I was thinking of you one. To reorder, call 1-800-something. <laughs> I'd rather be reading a book. Well, we'd seen that one. Don't take any wooden jelly babies. It's a Doctor Who one. Another kitty. These came from a book. That's what we're finding the little pieces of paper from. But they were, it was all unicorns, all really, really cool illustrations. And there was a sheet of stickers that came with the book that had each one of the different types of unicorns that they had talked about in the book. Yeah, I could probably bundle these by theme and put a bunch of them on Etsy. I tend to put my, uh, Oh, there's another one there. I tend to put the craft stuff. I like that one. <laughs> I tend to put the craft stuff on Etsy because I found that it just does better on Etsy than it does on um, eBay. My life has a superb cast, but I can't figure out the plot. This is another one. You mess this is messes with the teenagers. If you were driving along at 186, 100,000 miles per second and you turned on the light, would anything happen? I've had one, one kid who gave me an answer to that question. This kid went to MIT. As a teenager, he told me, it depends on which side of the light you're standing on, whether you would see anything or not. And he's not wrong because that's the speed of light. So if you're standing in front of the light, you're not going to see anything. But if you're standing behind the light, you are that tiny little bit after the light. So you might see the tiniest little glimmer. And darn it, I asked somebody I knew that was uh, has doctorate in quasars. And they said, you know, the kid's not wrong. <laughs> 
Evan Owen, my Etsy is the same as my YouTube channel and my eBay. They're all called This Overstuffed House. I just decided to keep it simple and gave everything. Um, when I decided to create a channel, I renamed everything so that it matched the YouTube channel so that everything was all in one name. So it would be easier for people to find. Now, I don't have too much in either store right now because I jumped into the YouTube channel a year before I had planned to because, you know, 2020 happened. And well, that's true. And um, that basically was uh, a bit more overwhelming than I expected. I was not as ready for it. As I thought, Jim Kirk was many things. He was never a time lord. And so I kind of got myself overwhelmed. But that's why I started the Black Hole Challenge. And, oh, yeah, I'm hell on trivia questions. <laughs> um, but I, I really needed an office. And I didn't have one when I started the channel. And I really should have. But, you know, you live, you learn, you figure out what you've done wrong, and then you figure out how to go forward from that place to a better place. You know, life has no guarantees, and sometimes you got to learn as you go. Oh, wow. Ziffer Press, 1983. That's cool. That's a photograph of a real carousel horse. God, darn it. Doesn't look like... Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get that to focus in on all the details. I love this. Cats are smarter than dogs because you can't get eight cats to pull a sled through snow. <laughs> Teleport now. Oh, another heart one. I find now as we get further down, we're finding uh, quite a few heart ones from the 80s. 1983, Boxed In Incorporated out of Chicago. Oh, a scratch and sniff. I Harry Potter came out with a griffin. Uh, the way some people find fault sticker. Oh, this is an Ann Gettys photograph. Um, I didn't realize that things aren't quite in focus, but I absolutely don't know how to fix that. Um, she did, she did, she still is most known for her wonderful baby photographs and little children. And that is a little tiny baby in the center of a really cool butterfly wings. So yeah, Evan Owen, there is, there is time. Um, my black hole challenge, that is going to be my office. Um, you would not, if you have not seen those videos, you should say it, uh, how much has come out of there because you really could not get in the room. It was, yay for unicorns. Um, it was to the doorway, to the doorway. I could not even walk in the room. And when I started filming, I filmed after we had already cleared a little bit that had extended out into the hallway and two big ottomans that were standing on top of each other. So those were already cleared out of the way before I started filming. <laughs> and then, you know, then I started working on it. But then when I tripped in my own yard and half dislocated a hip and two vertebrae are squished together, pinching another nerve, that's another... Kate Greenaway. This is another one from National Wildlife Federation. More kitties, a peacock. Do you want me to just stand in the corner and rust or just fall apart where I'm standing? Another Kate Greenaway. Oh, these guys were big and I don't, he has a name. He has a name and this came out of Japan first. Uh, right before Hello Kitty came out of Japan and took over the planet. That's another one of those ones that you could color in with colored pencils. Um, oh, look, there's another kitty. Sometimes it's hard to be good. Cat's going after the goldfish in the pond. Um, this was another big company. 
Um, Lucy Rigg did a lot of these bears and rainbow creations. And that's another one that's come off the it's come off the backing. So I'm not gonna save the backings. Oh, okay. So made in Italy by Panini. Collect all 228 stickers in your princess collection album. Walt Disney. Snow White. Those, I really wonder how many of those I'm going to find. I'm going to set that one aside. Because um, they, they, they don't do that. Take time out for dreaming. Hey, Jen. I didn't know I was going to be live either. It was just to see if first I had to see if I could actually. Um, Mike showed me and told me, but I wasn't really. He's not here. He's at work. So I wasn't sure I could actually get into his laptop and actually get the webcam to work. So I didn't tell anybody I was going to try to do this. I didn't want to build up any anticipation um, when I knew that I might not be able to do it. Oh, look, it's my cat, the doctor. <laughs> More glitteries. Yield to temptation. It may not pass your way again. Oh, here's another one of those rainbow creation. Um, uh, rainbow creation bears. And we have here. Oh, this is Mary Englebright. Mary Englebright. I think I shall sit that one up there. I, I have to start collecting Mary Englebright stuff as I find it in my house. Um, photograph of hand-carved wooden carousel animal circa 1910. So there's another one of those. Um, oh, is this Lisa Frank? Yay, bingo. Hello. See that name? She still puts out stuff today. It still has the same signature trademark. This one's from 1982. This early Lisa Frank stuff is gold. I mean, it's it's just crazy. I sold off. Um, I had some sheets of Lisa Frank stickers, and I and some single sheets of stationery, and I sold it all off. And one of them, there, there's a name. She she did a husky puppy back in the eighties. And it turns out the blasted thing has a name. Who it has a name? Who would have thought that, that an illustration on a piece of stationery would have a name? So I sold that. It was two sheets of paper and the matching envelope. And I sold it for $16 10 years ago. It's still, <laughs> her stuff is still bought and sold. And, and the early stuff from the 80s is just crazy, crazy how much that's going for. Oh, look, we got another, we got another Snow White Disney. Now, if this were Sleeping Beauty, you would not be going anywhere. And I hate that Disney now has Sleeping Beauty in pink because that's not her color. Oh, another Doctor Who one. You are the master. Another Doctor Who. K-9 has metal fleas. If you don't know who K-9 is, you're missing some fun. Once Upon a Time is now. Well, that's more cool stuff. Sierra Club. Oh, the Lorax. Look, look, another another little 80s heart. Wizard and Warlock Academy. Time Lord has to do what a Time Lord has to do. Can you tell I was really, really, really into Doctor Who? <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Jan? Jan, I know you're here. I thought of you because of what you said about that one person. And I swear, and you'll see it when you rewatch it, the comments I made, that I think we have the same person commenting. But the way some people find fault, you'd think there was a reward. And that person thinks they're getting a reward. I will beat them with my walker if they make you upset again. Look, you Trekkies know what that is. <laughs> you Trekkies know... More kitties, not nailed down as a cat toy. Rather be reading a book. 
In case of nuclear attack, the federal ruling against praying in this school will be temporarily suspended. Oh, another mad sticker, which means this came out of a mad magazine. How many of you remember those? Mad Magazine and Cracked? Cracked? Cracked, I don't think, lasted as long as Mad Magazine. This is a Grossman, isn't it? Yep, another Mrs. Grossman. I'll stick that over there. Though that's a penguin, I may not part with that. Warning, the Surgeon General has determined that reality is dangerous to your health. Some days, yes. Look, another, another 1980s heart one. Ooh, that's Kate Greenaway and a really cool looking Pegasus one. Yeah, I noticed that, Jan. I saw that go by. You have a first issue of Cracked Magazine. You need to look that sucker up. I made it. You'll see. I made a couple of comments. Beam me up, Scotty. This place has no intelligent life. Oh, this is another one from the 80s. Another Kate Greenaway. Current, current catalog. I think they're online only now. I don't think, I don't know if they have a catalog. That's what that one's from. I remember that one. Keep the flame burning, support Special Olympics. We've seen those. There are many intelligent species in the universe and they all own cats. So these are... 1989 National Wildlife Federation. I don't know that I sold them. I had to tell you how long these these lick it and stick it kind of stickers were around. I have from 1968. I have a full sheet of these kind of stickers. They're bigger too from the 60s that were put out by the National Wildlife Federation. And it's a full sheet. None of them are pulled off. None of them are pulled apart. And um, I'm pretty sure I still have it downstairs and I have not gotten it online yet. Gallifrey Postal Service, anywhere in the universe. <laughs> Oh, see, here's one of the ones that was the ones that you saw that I had colored in in pencil. This is what they look like. They're, they're just, but they, it's a regular flat paper. So um, this one I hadn't colored in yet. Those were really cool. I wouldn't mind finding ones like that again today. More kitties, kitties, kitties. Yeah, the further away the future, the better it looks. But, the, you know, but then you get in trouble with reality. Shipped via Unicorn Express. More than, another one of those bears coming off of its sheet. Get into a penguin state of mind. Oh, another one of those endangered ones. I love Blake 7. That's the one about traveling with light. The universe is full of magical things, patiently waiting for our wits to grow sharper. Hmm. <laughs> oh, happy little mushroom. Sleepy little doggy. I have so many colored pencils. It's just not even funny. But I inherited like a whole box of them. A whole, well, a whole tin of them from my uh, one great aunt. She was an incredible artist. And I have some of her artwork still. And... You never have to outwit anything you can outrun. Wait, you never have to outrun anything you can outwit. Okay, I can't even say it straight, and I'm trying to read them backwards. Now, this looks like some of the things somebody did on a computer. But look at, look at this. Who remembers the computer paper that you had to have these little things to feed it through the printer? <laughs> so it's... Address, what would have been address label size, as long as that is. So somebody was probably at work goofing around, <laughs> making stickers. <laughs> Remember yesterday, dream about tomorrow, but live today. 
Not a bad idea. I've said this many times. Many times. <laughs> Only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And then somebody trumped me and said, yes, and nuclear fallout. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. We had one of them go by. Another unicorns. You see the theme here? Unicorn sci-fi. Um, Doctor Who. <laughs> Fairies. Kitties. Penguins. What is this? Never attribute to malice what can be adequately explained by stupidity. Okay. Oh, yick. Okay. As much as I love unicorns. I hate smiley faces, but Yvonne at Thrifty Rich, okay, she has a collection of smiley faces. She absolutely loves them. During one of my live sales, I had this smiley face greeting card that had all these weird sayings on it about things to make you happy. One of them said, have twins. Yeah, I, I don't know how happy that's going to make everybody. Um, but we all decided in the chat that night that one of them had to go to her. And she recently did a friend mail thing and, and had that in there. I think I need to keep this out and send this to her. I really do. Because I'm never going to. I hate smiley faces. There's a story behind why I hate smiley faces. Just looking at it makes my teeth hurt. So you let me know if you want to hear the story of why I hate smiley faces. And I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, another Kate Greenaway. So this is neat. There's another one. It was just lick on the back. and But that's a Jack in the Pulpit plant. A lot of them are in, in the Jersey Pine Barrens. Jack in the Pulpits. Um, uh, what's the other one? The Venus Flytraps. Those are, those are mostly... When they get them, they're cultivating them out of the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Bye, Jen. Yeah, I don't know how long we've been running. God knows I've got enough enough uh, unused StreamYard time. It is unwise to meddle in the affairs of wizards. Yes. My, one of my favorites is I had it as a note card, and it has two dragons. Um... And, and it shows the little parts of the, uh, the, the armor laying around all over the ground. And, and it says, um, never piss off a dragon, for you are crunchy and good with ketchup. I always thought that one was fun. I'd rather be reading a book. Just because he's dead doesn't mean he's not trying to outthink me. Someday I'll remember what that's from. Because <laughs> I don't remember right now. Let our earth be peaceful. Let our hearts be hopeful. Jim Kirk and being a time lord. Oh, another otter. Oh, another one of those. Some angels. You don't see too many angels in here. Recycle, a tigger, another cool unicorn. What is this? Have you hugged your penguin today? No, but I've hugged my cat. Who asked about Max Headroom? Annie Christie, was it you? Were you the one that asked about Max Headroom? Believe it or not. <laughs> I found something. Oh, my. <laughs> a lot of my a lot of my Christmas decorations are penguins and snowmen. Um, oh, look at this little cutie. Little cutie baby unicorn. Nice little foil one. Oh, there's another. There's another Trek one. Put that up there. Time waits for no man except the doctor. Well, that's because he can always just repeat it if he's careful. <laughs> so never too old for fantasy. 
Hallmark cards, 1984. Neither rain nor snow nor dark of night, but it says nothing about dogs. So, yeah, we're getting down near the end here. A lot, a lot of Hallmark and others here. Emperor penguins. Look, so the Panini that did the um, Disney one also did this Animals of the World. And some Hallmarks. Another one, Unicorn, Unicorn, Unicorn. Oh, here's another one with Pet Pride. I love these little Japanese kitties. But I never remember which side is what. If the right arm, if the right paw is up, it means one thing. And if the left paw is up, it need, means another. And one of them means prosperity, you know, with like money. And then the other one means um, friends and, and re relations. So we got that. Another, another hand on one. Oh, there's a Dunesbury one got way underneath. Another one of those. Sticker Mania was on the back. Speak, friend, and enter. Now that I know is Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, another 80s heart one. God, I can make a whole bunch of those. Never underestimate the power of human stupidity. Hey, that's the same artwork as that one. So whoever that is, another up, oh, another Kathy one. I'll put that over there. I used to say this, and then I ended up flat on my back for three solid weeks. I was okay with the boredom for three weeks. I really was. <laughs> you know, it gave me time to think some things out. And make some plans. I actually did a blueprint plan of the office for the Black Hole Challenge Room. And see what I can do in there. The only thing different is I don't have measurements. This is Happy Birthday Bugs. 1990 and Warner Brothers. And it says Bugs. So it's got to be Bugs Bunny. So this is another one from Panini. Uh, virtue is its own punishment. Another Kate Greenaway. Oh, another, another, another Kathy. I think that was Annie Christie who was interested in, in Kathy ones. So I may, I'm just putting them aside. Amer AGC is American Greeting Company. Oh, and they like to use Roman numerals. So what do we got here? 50, 60, 70, 80, 1984. The year I graduated high school. I was 19 when I graduated. Stickers by the something. And it's another Mrs. Grossman. Let me stick that with the other one. So we are down to the nitty gritty. UFOs are real and it's the Air Force that doesn't exist. Another Mad sticker. So it's another one from Mad Magazine. We're getting down to where a lot of these are, are, um, are duplicates. Wooden Jelly Babies. We've seen that. Fate of the Future. We are way down near the bottom here. Oh, I know that artwork. That's another Dover publication. Doctor Who has great timing. Pun intended. These are more uh, National Wildlife Federation. And a whole bunch of unicorn trainer ones. That's a hallmark. Probably a hall hallmark. Wit is educated insolence. Well, that's a pretty thing of flowers. We've seen a couple of those. More flowers. Another griffin. Shut up, Orac. 
Blake seven, I'm pretty sure. Another one of those little, see this artwork is a copy of some of those Victorian scrap things that, and Victorian trade cards. That's another one, same thing. Pretty sure those are Dover publications. And that doesn't say who. Now see, that has, <laughs> that has initials all over it. When people used to do these exchange slips that you would send back and forth through different pen pals, and exchange slips would say, send 10 stickers to the first name on the list. It basically, it was a chain letter, but it usually was just a little like a little piece of paper this big. And it would say like, t send 20 stickers to first name, to number one, move number, move the next name up, put your name as next. And they'd have two, maybe three names on it. And you would write on the back who you got it from so that you made sure you didn't send it back to the same person. Because a lot of the same people were doing, this, were the ones switch, um, swapping stickers. They, and they, they were for different things too. You could do coupons. You could do stationery, you could do stickers, and that's that's how I, I got a lot of really cool, cool st um, stickers that way. And I I sent out a lot of really cool stickers. It's another one of that unicorn book, another one of those animal stickers from Illuminations, nineteen eighty three. Um, another, another colored one be good for around Easter American graphics. Doesn't say who the artist is. A lot of the eighties ones that you could buy single sheets. And I could see this has a perforated end down here, but a lot of them were round product of Klingon science. You know, it just seemed like round seemed to be the shape of the eighties for stickers. And I think we're running into a lot of, oh, there's a Bugs Life one hiding way down in there. And it's a foily one, too. Night? What night? We ate it. So we're, we're getting to the bottom of the box here. Still more little round ones. More of those cameo ones. Wow. You know, it's funny. It's like they, they got mixed up a lot. It's not perfectly in layers of, you know, the oldest in the bottom because I as I would look for more, you know, you're always digging through. So you're moving it around. Save gas, ride a unicorn to work. I probably would if I could. UFP. Oh, there's Elisa Frank. That is her Orca, one of her Orca series. That's, that's a Mrs. Grossman penguin. We saw one of those earlier. Are you? You look like it. Yep. Another Lisa Frank. Once you um, start seeing her is enough. Oh, put that one aside. Talk to Annie Christie about those later. Uh, you start to recognize the look. Okay, here's a good one. An idiot is someone who proofreads the photocopy against the original. And then there's this one. Reality is just a crutch for people who can't handle science fiction. Well, there's another Lisa Frank. Though this one, honestly, I think the colors have faded a little on that one. And, and I will have to look up some of these and really see. Now, see, that's the same color palette as that one I had just showed you, the two, um, that didn't have an artist on them. Yeah, I like this one, too. It, it will be a wonderful day when schools have all the money they need and the Air Force has to hold a bake sale to buy a bomber. I got a couple of those. Another Kate Greenaway. You know, the one thing with StreamYard is you can't see how many people are, are watching you. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's still there or not. Adopt a dead parrot. Monty Python one. 
Seeker of the Unicorn. Now, now this happens, okay? You see what's happened? Is that as the glue has dried out, the glue on the back is turning colors and it's making the sticker, it's all turning yellow. And that's from the glue in the background going. So you, you sometimes find ones and you can't, you can't really, you can't really use them for anything other than, you know, get a glue stick and use it, stick it on the back of a letter. The nest destiny of mankind is to explore the universe. Yeah. When we finally learn how to behave ourselves, maybe guard your kneecaps. The attack of the gnomes is coming. Oh, now this is, this is really, really old. So this is thick gummy on the back. And this is a foil kind of sticker. Um, I think I have it upside down. I think it goes that way. But it's, it's the swan on the water and it's mirror image. Now, I remember finding these, and I'm real surprised to find one in here, but I remember finding these in my grandmother's stuff. So these are from 40s, I think. I think we figured out that based on how it was made, that these were most likely from the 1940s. And I'm real surprised that one snuck in there because I had some of those left and I had them in with my vintage trading card stuff. Uh, what's this one? This one, Sticker Club. Yeah, you could you could find them now. Now you can only find stickers in in such a small variety. Sonic screwdriver, don't leave your TARDIS without it. Um, I don't know how many cool ones you could find anymore online, um, but you know some of the real creative companies are just they're just not around, and you can't seem to find them. Which is a shame because it, it is a, it, with people doing junk journaling, now would be an excellent time <laughs> to find really cool stickers. But here's another one that's now he, I'm betting, is more 1950s and he's got that gummy back. But his, his uh, robe and the back of the book are actually flocked. They're actually flocking. Now, I know I'm going to keep those separate because I know I have a box somewhere that is nothing but those old kind of um, uh, gum labels, I think is what they're called, or gum stickers, because it is gum on the back that you a type of. What is this? Other people's property comes naturally to me. That's Got to be a quote from somebody. And, um, but anyway, they, uh, oh, wow, there's a lot of these now with all the info on the back. But they're, um, they could really, you know, if they did reproductions of some of these old school ones, these old vintage ones from like the 50s, like that little choir boy, they, they'd make a fortune. <laughs> They make a fortune doing it for people doing junk journaling. But I honestly, like, I don't know that Denison, there you go. Yes, Denison was the name of the company. And I don't think the Swans are, but I'm pretty sure he is a Denison. I had so many and I didn't know they were worth anything when we had to empty um, my grandmother's house, there were so many of those Denison stickers and I, I used to use them. I had no idea that, you know, so many decades afterwards, they would be worth something. Oh, now these are good. I know these are from Dover publications. These are images that are very close to Tenniel's illustrations for Alice in Wonderland, they've just colored them. So they've been inspired by Tenniel's illustrations. But 
they're they're all and I'm pretty sure those are Dover. They're all Alice in Wonderland. Oh look. Price sticker. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. Um <clears throat> oh, I wondered if I'd find any of hers. These are Susan Branch. Yeah, the swans look like envelope seals. They might have been. Because I, I don't remember finding any stationery with it. We just it was, And it was out of her desk that I remember finding the swans. And, and that's where she also had a bunch of the Denison ones. Um, I still think I might still have some sealed packs of Susan Branch. I've sold off a lot of these in 2019 before I started my YouTube channel. Um, and you have to pick, if you're going to sell stuff like this off, you really have to pick where. Hey, there's a cool, kind of reminds you of Gandalf. Um, you have to, to really pick where you're going to sell it. I did better with the Susan Branch stuff and the Lisa Frank stuff just was so, just took off on, um, on eBay. But other stuff... Like, look at all the dust in the bottom of this thing. This has been in my drawer. Like, there's a there's whole sheets of these. Do they have a date? Nope. Just says Hallmark cards. Um, but different things. It's different things, different markets. And I know like the Lisa Frank goes higher on eBay than it does on Etsy. But Etsy is just so much better for craft supplies and things. Dare to care and pitch in. Basically, clean up. <laughs> oh, my. This poor box. This box was a bottom. Let's put you up there. This was the bottom of a Whitman sampler box. You're not going. So I have to find a new box because as it started to fall apart, I just, like, kept putting stickers around the corners trying to save it. But I kind of think it's done. So I will find a new box. Look at the, look at the pile. I mean, look, look, how, look how thick this pile is. <laughs> so we did find a few good ones. I do know this. I am definitely going to be looking up Panini. Even though I only have three of these. They're all three Snow White. So I'm still going to look these up to see if they are worth throwing these up on eBay or not. Um, sometimes, you know, the tiniest stuff can still, you know, make you some money. And I know I have sold off um, some things that were really small and been amazingly surprised at what they've gone for. So I will look them up. I only found one Mary Englebright sticker, but of the Lisa Frank ones, we have, we have the lollipops. We have that one. We have that one. Now these all would have been off rolls because they all have perforated edges here and here. And you would have been able to buy these off a roll in a store. Now, this one I know was off a full sheet because, you know, this corner and this, this edge, they're both, they're both cockeyed. Um, actually, so is this one. So I probably cut this, cut a sheet apart and had the orca. So I will look and see how individual ones are doing. And especially as uh, these actually are dated 1980s and see if these four would be worth just putting up as a simple little lot. I know though, um, I had, I had incomplete sheets and single sheets that were complete and they all, you know, five and $6 for us for a sheet of, of the ones. And it just depended on what image it was. There's people that just collect her Husky puppy. There's people that just collect the orcas there, there's just specializing in Lisa Frank stuff is just crazy that the people have some collections where they've just literally specialized in it. So uh, let's come back up here and uh, 
Uh, nope, can't do that. I forgot to put the pillow behind me. I can't lean back. If I lean back, things hurt. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> so uh, I need to like look at the camera and not look at the, but I have to look past this for the, uh, for the chat. So I hope those of you who stuck with me had, had fun. You know, this was something that we had talked about and then I wasn't able to do it right away. And then I got hurt in my own backyard. I got hurt. Was it most accidents happen at home? Well, you know, you have a house from 1911 and a couple of trees that are from 1911. You end up with a lot of tree roots in your yard. And I tripped over one and twisted goofy with my left leg up this far up on top of an edge of the where the platform had been for the picnic table. But my, I'm not Tinkerbell, I'm not tiny. Um, my, the rest of my body and the momentum, while that left leg was up and heading to the right, the rest of my body kept going to the left and I started to fall. So you're now putting a lot of weight of pressure on that hip and I literally popped it part way out of place. It wasn't good. <laughs> And I didn't realize how bad it was. I had I had done my live sale that night. And then I had to work the next three days standing for five hours at a time. So by Sunday morning, I knew I'd screwed something up badly. But And I figured, okay, well, I'll call the doctor Monday morning. Well, by Monday morning, I was, well, as soon as I tried to stand up, I was screaming in pain. Because the swelling just, you know, by then was just past the point of no return. So, <laughs> uh, does that mean we should all move? What, people that have houses with tree roots? Nah. Nah. My problem was I was trying to move around something that my brother dragged home. <laughs> Gary likes to curb. Gary likes to scrap. And most of the time it's around on the side yard of the house where it's that's all the room he's allowed to have. But this was something larger and it was in the way. It was over top of the stone path and I tried to go around it and it didn't work. He has since taken that thing apart and taken it to the junkyard. He should be paying the medical bill. So, <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty lucky because so far, you know, uh, the medical has taken care of everything because I don't make that much. So I have... Uh, I have Medicare. I have not Medicare. I have Keystone First, which in PA is through the Affordable Care Act. So, so far it's covered everything. Knock on where something would. Because uh, that's the last thing I need right now is, is doctor bills of my own. I'm still paying off vet bills from Gandalf and his passing. So, so yeah, um, life goes on. And you guys now all have seen my stickers and I know ones like Tammy and Tammy, I know was, was one of them. I can't remember who else was it. There were about eight people that wanted in the chat that was from that live sale that wanted to see the, the box of stickers so they can come see this later. And uh, I hope you guys all had fun who, who were here to see it. And those on the replay, I hope you're having fun. Um, but really, if you're really into junk journaling or scrapbooking, you know, finding some of these old stickers is fun, you know, especially when you have weird ones like I do. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean if you're just seeing this the first time. You've seen what I mean about some of the weird saying ones. And you can't find ones like that anymore. There's there just doesn't seem to be any little startup company like the ones that I got, you know, all, all of these from. It was, it was literally out of their garage. It was a husband and a wife in California somewhere, and they were printing them out of their garage. And they're all quotes from a lot of uh, science fiction, from a lot of literature. There were, there were quotes that I remember reading in their, their, in their uh, leaflet flyer thing that they used to mail out to you. Um, that I didn't realize until a long while later that they were quotes from Dante's Inferno. So some of their quotes, they would try to take like iconic 
phrases and, and sayings from things and make them into these stickers. So, oh, I never thought of that. You're right. They could put a sticker in the base for inside and then encase it in resin. That would be good too. So, but I hope you guys had fun. And if you haven't subscribed, by all means, subscribe, hit the like button, hit that thumbs up. And I always recommend because especially now because I'm hurt and, and I can tell my back is getting real tired right now. Um, I cannot consistently pick a day and just have that be the day I put a video out or do a live until they get my spine to actually loosen up and stop squishing itself where the two vertebrae are. I I'm at my limit of how long I can stay sitting up. So I need to go. So because of all that, hit that bell icon and hit all notifications because then you'll get a notice and I don't know why, but YouTube seems to send the notice that somebody has posted a video or is live about five minutes after they've started. Go figure. Um, but hit that all notifications bell and that way you won't miss when I can, can be back up and running. All right. So I hope you had fun. Have a great, great rest of the, what is today Sunday? Today's Sunday. I was going to say have a great weekend. Have a great week. <laughs> and I am going to go and I'm going to go lay down for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and clean up all my pile of stickers here and get them off my kid's desk. He would appreciate that when he got home. So bye guys. And I'll see you next week. Maybe fingers crossed. I'll be able to make an appearance with Jan on Sunday chat. Maybe. Can't promise anything. See you later. Bye. Well, where is it?